वेलकम टू आई एम किड्स रियान यूट्यूब चैनल I would like to welcome you all in my YouTube channel. If you are new here, I kindly request you to subscribe my channel. Do like. You can comment if you got something to ask or something to suggest me. In today's video, I am going to show you how you can verify your pending invoices which is already registered in finance portal with NIF. I mean, when you buy thing in a different stores or different places or you buy a different services at that time, you get a receipt mostly with the NIF number. I mean tax number, contribution number. But if you don't get any receipt, any invoices by putting your NIF number, then you can also register it online yourself but you have to keep that receipt safely if they do inquiry then you must show the invoices or in some cases if you are using e phatura mobile application to do that you may have option to take a picture of that invoice and post while you registered your expense in this video i am not going to show how you can do that but here we are going to do verify all the pending invoices which is already registered which is already entered in the finance portal but not registered properly or which has not completed all the process how we can verify that i am going to do that let's begin now first of all open any web browser either google chrome or microsoft edge i prefer one of them because they have language change option you can directly search here for e phatura if you search e phatura here then you can directly go to the e phatura session of the finance portal otherwise you can search for here finance portal finance offices portal das finances finances das portal something like this then you will go to the main page of the finance but if you search e phatura directly here, then you can directly go to this page when you come here you have to click on invoices then go little down and you will find there mr consumer click on consumer now you have to put your nif number and password and click on authenticate um, before doing that i will talk a little bit about this here is the option to change the language if this page in portuguese then you can click in english and it will change into english if you want it in portuguese then you can directly click on portuguese and you will get this in portuguese language what happens if you don't get this option like this and you want to change your language then here in the top you will see this option here you can click here then you will get this option here and what if you want to change this page in another language then you have here three dots you can click here and choose another language click here and choose your language in this way you can change the language but if you don't see anything neither this or the option over here then you can right click on page and there will be an option to translate to english then you can click here and this page will be translated in this way you can change the language easily now let's come to this point here when you come to this page you will see there the message something like this we noticed that there are six invoices pending information in your name it will be necessary to fill in the missing information in this way you can see the information and here will be a option to go and verify likewise there in the down you can see the list of options in which we have to include our expenses we can see now balance here most of the things are 000 only this 1.80 so after verifying the invoices it will be changed some of them will be changed now in this case only this general expenses has 1.80 now here is another option check invoices it is for the verifying our invoices but if we don't have any invoices already registered with the nif number we have an option here register invoices about this i have already made a video which you can see in my channel which is listed in the description below you can go there and you can click on link and you can see how you can register your bills which you haven't already included nif number while you buying the service or product so here to verify the invoices you have two options either go from here or go from here then i will show both of them first of all i will do some of some of the invoices from here some of from downwards so if you click this then you will see these six invoices here like this 
but if you have more than six then here in this part you will see here how many items or how many invoices you want to see in a page so that it will be easier to select more of them at a time i mean suppose if you have 100 invoices to verify then here you can choose 50 so that 50 invoices will be listed in this page so that you can just choose one option from each line and it will be done but in this case you don't need to worry about that i'm just telling you here will be an option for 50 then you finish this all and click on save and to go to next page here will be option to go next you can click on next and it will go to the next page or if you refresh your page then remaining 50 will be displayed here but there will be an option and you can click on now in this case uri cosmetica something like this okay now you have to relate this invoice with the option available here in which category it belongs i am putting this option here in other because i don't know in which category it belongs if you know you can put otherwise you can put it others here company car is the fake it is related with the transport so i am choosing this one pure cosmetica other pure cosmetic others yeah okay if you have a pingo those continent or other consumable foods then either you can choose this option restoration accommodation catering and similar either this or you can click on other as well i prefer choosing others but you also can use this as well because most of the things which we buy from supermarkets are related with the accommodation and catering types but i prefer others but here we have to choose like this now to select these options and click on save and your task is done it is completed then you can click on close session and your unregistered or unverified invoices are verified now i'm going to show you another way of doing the same thing before moving to another one i will say something about here as well in some cases you may find here options like acquisition activity or acquisition option or something like this here in this part as well beside this then there will be an option if you are using these items for professional use or not if you are using these items for professional use then you can click on yes if not then choose no but the half of them for professional use half of them for your personal use then you can click on partial this option does not come frequently sometimes in some cases you may find but mostly you don't if you don't get anything you don't need to worry about it but if you find then you have to choose from there as well otherwise you cannot verify your invoices it is just for the information purpose now i am going to do another one as well so i am removing this this and this now i am just choosing three and i will click on save now information saved successfully it means three invoices have successfully registered now we will see three of them like this so here i'm going to show you different methods so i'm going back again now before we went with this option now we are going from the below now if you see here before here was 1.80 now i'm going to show you the difference and the another method we went with this one now a little below if you come and see here the general family expenses it is increased before it was a less now it is increased so this amount will be deducted from the irs now another option is going from this check invoices in this page you have to do something you have to do something because here if you notice the date here are 2021 first of january to 2021 february 24 we have to change date according to our need it means now we are going to fill irs of 2020 so we have to verify the those invoices from 2020 January 1st to 2020 December 31st also if you want to verify other dates invoices you can easily do by searching here date you can choose start date and end date then the list of invoices pending invoices registered invoices will be displayed here then you can verify all the pending invoices in other time as well but before the february 25 you have to do all the pending invoices of last year so that that will be added in the expenses and it will be detected from the total income now i'm going to do search here then the the list of invoices will be displayed here when you come down you will see something like this pending with this faturas click on this fatura then you choose what kind of invoice it is now you have to 
verify this invoice. For that, first of all, you should know with, in which category does it belongs. In this case, I am going to put it in others because I don't know what kind of item it is. If you know it is something related with the options available here, then you can choose any one of them. In this case, I don't know so I am choosing others and click on save. Now the information saved successfully. Now you can click here and go back. Again, when you go back, at that time you may see different times. If it is changed, you need to change again because we are not seeing here any pending invoices. If it happens, then you have to go and see this date. Ah, it's already changed. So we have to, normally it doesn't change but if it is changed then we have to again change it according to our requirement. But normally it does not change. Search. Now, two invoices are left again. So um, before I was talking about this option here 10, 20, 50. It means if you want to see more transaction in the same page, so you can click on 50. Then if there are more items, then you can see here more options. In this case, it does not have more. So you just see a little. Now in this case, I have here pending invoice. So I have to verify them. To do that, click here and go here and choose option and click on save. Then you can see the detailed information about the invoice here and the down as well. And if you think you have done something wrong, Wrong, you can go down and change the information as well if you go down then you will see here option to alter you can click here you can change the information as well now go up and click on check invoices then your information is registered which you did before now you have one pending invoice for that click here and do the same it is related with the transport purchase of monthly passes for the use of public transport it is related with transport so I'm choosing this one and click on save in this way it is also registered saved successfully now if you click here then you won't see any invoices to register all invoices registered now you can click on close session in this way you can verify your invoices there are other options as well but this is the easiest one or you can use your e Fatura application from your mobile phone as well that is easiest one i hope this video will definitely help you to register your unregistered or unverified invoices which has registered with nip number but not completely verified at last Again, I would like to request you to subscribe my channel and press bell icon for the future notifications. Thank you.